Cool. Uh, so I'll ask by asking, what can audiences expect from uh, from this sequel that's different to the first Muppets? Uh, Muppets first one is an out and out um, caper comedy movie. It's like 100% um, 100 miles an hour from the very beginning. It's a very fast moving, fun action. Pa it's an action comedy musical, and there aren't many of those around, so that's why it's worth watching. Uh, is it fair to say it's something of a a darker offering than the first as uh, well. Potentially, only because a caper naturally involves some sort of crime. And when yeah. you have crime in a movie, it tends to go a little bit darker. Mm. But I, I was very keen not to make the same film twice. I wanted this film to be different than the last one. The last one's a very emotional reunion family coming back together again kind of idea. And this one, the family's together from the very beginning, so it's very much like a what's next kind of movie. And I love the idea of doing a kind of movie about a, a big diamond, those kind of movies. And I thought that Muppets would fit very nicely into a kind of heist caper movie. And of course they have done one before in the 70s, which was great. And so it's a good tip of the hat to that too. And so it's just a continuation of the idea of like, what do they do? And so of course the first thing we do in the movie is say, have the Muppets themselves say, what are we gonna do next? And I love that idea. And well, I mean, it is very self-referential, mm -hmm. the Muppets. Was it quite difficult to find that that balance, I suppose, between... Yeah, because you don't want to yeah. overkill it. You want to do it all the time. It's just fun because you can do it in the Muppets world. It's fun to do it now and then. But you're right, you don't want to do it too many times because it gets a bit like, okay, all right. So, you know, yeah, we do it when we can. But it must be, it must be quite fun to work with that kind of blurred line between reality yes. and, and... Well, it, also in terms of the jokes you write for this. Obviously, I've done... I've been writing comedy for 20 years, so it's funny for me to... You know, my, often comedy these days is very nuanced and subtle and situation-based and awkward, whereas Muppets is just like joke writing, you write a joke and you write the most ridiculous thing you can think of and put it on the page and it works because it's Muppets. And jokes you can never get away with anywhere else you can do with Muppets, which is really fun. And of course you took over the co-writing duties from Jason Segel. Sure. Uh, that, did you feel a bit of pressure because he did such a fine job uh, with the first? Well, yeah, but remember on the last one as a director you come in, you always help out a little bit. And so I did a little bit of writing on the last one. And I know Nick Stoller from before, he's a friend of mine. So he and I knew each other. So I knew that writing with Nick would be very straightforward because we were friends. So it was like one of those things where we just hung out and told each other jokes and you know wrote it down, that's it. That's it. But yeah, no, I mean, Jason did a fantastic job and he was brilliant in the first movie, but I think he very much felt that his job had been done with Gary and that was it really. Because I mean, much of your work, well, some of your work, sorry, in the past, yeah. Being kind of adult orientated, is it? Do you get? Is it something quite? I don't know. In just really enjoyable, and exciting about making films that you know can be appreciated for, for the whole family. Yeah, and it's partly because myself, I had children. I guess to a degree. I mean, I, my I mean, my work hasn't. I guess Ali G is a pretty adult <laughs> com comedy creation, yeah. but Concours I did before Muppets was very much a family show. I think, and there was mm. some stuff in there, but generally it's pretty gentle. And I love the idea of trying to make people laugh without resorting to anything which is even vaguely rude. It's really fun. And so Muppets is a natural progression of that. And so I love watching films with my daughter who's seven and seeing how she reacts to it and how I react to it. And that's Muppets should be that. It should work for both she and I. And uh, talking of Flutter the Concords, of course, yes. uh, Brett's done the music again and Jermaine's mm -hmm. got a role in this one. He is. Um, Brett's ability to write funny songs that are just so wonderful mm -hmm. always surprises me. Do you get surprised when he, he's yeah, sent Yeah, I mean, I, look, I've songs. worked with him for... 10 years nearly now and he's just the most incredible songwriter because he has a great gift of melody and comedy and that's a really unusual combination so I can write an idea down in the script for a song knowing full well that Brett will come up with something great and that's an amazing gift that I have that Brett is able to do that for me so yeah no he's, a, he's, our, he's our secret weapon. Uh, so just finally, uh, Through the Looking Glass is next for you, I believe. Uh, so when does that uh, kick off? And you must be very excited about that project. Um, yeah, no, uh, it starts, uh, we're actually in production right now, uh, and we start shooting in the summer in the UK. Uh, and it comes out Memorial Day 2016, so it's a, it's a while away yet. But um, no, I'm, I'm thrilled, I'm a huge Lewis Carroll fan, and this is an amazing opportunity and fun sort of, you know, world to look into and great characters, so I'm really excited about it. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for your time. Pleasure. So much appreciate it.